This is the driver's side sunshade on a 2014 Infiniti QX60, pretty common vehicle. This one actually has been replaced and that stays up. This one on the passenger side, this will not stay up, it stays down. That's because over time this wears out right up here. See how that's kind of bulging out? That broke on the inside and the only thing to do to get that to stay back up is basically to replace the whole assembly. It's a lot cheaper to buy aftermarket parts rather than the OEM assembly or directly from the manufacturer. And it's super easy to replace this. Uh, in this video, I'll show you just how easy it is to replace this sunscreen assembly. First, you need to find one online and make sure that it fits your vehicle. This is for that uh, 2014 Infiniti QX60. Uh, also fits the Nissan Pathfinder 2014 to 2017, 2018 model year. It's roughly about the same. Just make sure that wherever you ordered this from, it's going to be the, the same year as your vehicle. As we take it out of the box, we make sure that it is indeed the right side or the passenger side that comes with the vanity mirror and the accessory plugins. And then we pull it out and it's also the, the same color. So it is all going to match as if it's all the same thing. And this is ridiculously easy to install. I'll show you how to do that right now. Once you carefully pry off the, the plastic covering piece, and I wasn't very careful because you can see it kind of broke a little bit right there. Then you want to take a seven millimeter socket wrench or something to, to get these bolts off of here because these are not screwed in. They are uh, approximately a seven millimeter uh, socket wrench. So you just fit that on and just start loosening them and take that whole assembly off. Once you have those bolts undone, the whole assembly should just come right off. So you'll unhinge the whole shade and then it comes right off in one piece, leaving the exposed hole and then the wires that attach to the sunscreen assembly. And then just uh, right up here is where we'll undo our electrical connection, get that undone, and then just repeat the process to hook it back up with the new assembly. It's really uh, easy to connect. That just plugs right into that. It clicks into place. And then you just, <laughs> for lack of a technical term, you just shove the whole thing back up in that hole, stuff the wires in there and re-bolt it into place. And voila, you are finished. 